Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. <clears throat> Today we're going to talk about acoustic gear and we're going to talk about how important room treatment is. And we have amplifiers, we have speakers, but we have to start getting in our mind that the room treatment is just as important as the amplifiers and speakers. I know that's going to be difficult for a lot of you out there to accept, but it's so important and it's so much a part of the total sound that you hear in your room that I can't tell you, a day doesn't go by, I get two or three phone calls where someone tells me, well, I bought this set of speakers, I bought this amplifier, I bought this monitor, I bought this console, I bought this, that, or the other. And then when I ask them what size of room they pu are putting it in, I say to myself, these poor people are not going to be able to hear half of what the engineers designed the speaker and amplifier and console to sound like. So it's like I always say, the room doesn't care about your gear. It cares about the size of it. Size is the big issue with, with rooms, but it doesn't care who the manufacturer is. So you have to start elevating your thinking. And I know you're going to say, well, you're an acoustic products manufacturer. It's easier for you to say, well, it's not. And, and it's so important because you cannot have one without the other. You can't have a high quality amplifier connected to a high quality speaker in a bad room. Then you just, you negate both of these right away and you negate the relationship between them and you negate why you bought them. So you have to, I'm just using diffusion treatment up here. We could put absorption also, but the bottom line here is we need to elevate the room treatment products and technologies up to the gear platform. Take it as seriously as you do your amplifier and speaker selection. Put as much time and effort into your amplifier and speaker selection as you do the, your other stuff. Uh, for you, well, put enough, uh, much time into the room treatment as you do your amplifiers and speakers. I'm sorry. So what do we have for room issues? <clears throat> the standard issues all the time. Low, mid, and high absorption. We got to manage that first, and then we can go <coughs> and start addressing the middle and high frequency diffusion. So we can do, <coughs> excuse me, so we can do a lot of different things here, but I want you to see that it just fits into two categories, low, mids, and highs for absorption, and middle and high for diffusion. We don't diffuse low frequencies. I suppose we could, but the space and the treatment requirements would be be like having an Atlas rocket booster in your living room in terms of size, so you wouldn't want anything like that. So two technologies, absorption and diffusion. We don't you know, we don't have any more than the two. I wish we did sometimes, but and then there's hybrids between the two, but we don't have that. So what do we have? Well we have reflections, because we have all these surfaces of the room bouncing energy around and then we have to get those reflections to balance out with that direct energy that comes straight at us from the speakers. So it's this marriage of direct versus reflected energy that we're always trying to create and we do that through rates and levels of absorption, rates and levels of diffusion and proper management. But purpose of this video is to try to elevate your thinking. When you're thinking about amplifiers and speakers, you're allocating a certain amount of your budget for those. You must allocate a certain amount for absorption and diffusion technologies within your room. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed our videos today. And if you did, we really would appreciate a thumbs up from you. If you have any questions or comments, you can go to the comment section or you can go to our website, acousticfields.com and fill out the contact form. Subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel. We're now doing two videos a week. If you have some ideas for topics, you can uh, submit those to us also. If you're having room issues, we have that free room analysis. You can click on the button below and we'll compare your room to our database of 120 built rooms that uh, we built and actually measured. And I guarantee you, your room is in that database. So just click on the button below for the free room analysis. Thank you.